Uh, send in whoever whoever's next uh, at the door here. This is fantastic. How'd you guys wrangle this this to happen? This is Trent. <laughs> Hi, Trent. Trent, really, Trent is how from Iowa. I'm well, how are you? Come, come Trent, you're from, from Iowa. Iowa. He Iowa, is yeah. a part of uh, what do you know, uh, what do you know about Iowa? What I know think? those Iowa boys that ran a Twitter account called those Iowa boys. Who oh, I did know them, yeah. Okay, when so I first started out, they were they were a big deal when I first started. So I'm really good friends with them. They've all moved to separate places. When I do gigs, like one of them lives in Denver. So okay. he's my fake security in Denver so we can hang out. Okay. We initially met, of course, at a strip club. And then right before I was going to retire, I went back to that club, and they wrote me this handwritten letter about what I've done for them and how exciting they are to watch the next chapter of my life. And I was like, oh, my God, these kids are so Yeah, cute. I mean, Iowa people are nice. We're are super really nice. nice. We're the nicest guys in the world. And right. the strip clubs are BYOB. Ooh, so wow. like strip club, yeah. it's the best part. It's strip so clubs, they cool. what you do is you walk in, they've got these round tables, and then there's <laughs> ice and a chat. Like they just put ice in there, and you, and you can bring your, your own beer. Wow. And then they also bring, uh, they bring like if you bring like uh, a bunch of girls with you, they'll bring them up on stage and they'll take their shirts off. <laughs> Any and thoughts also, on that? The bouncers, <laughs> the bouncers like clean they the ask house. the girls, or they just cut so them off from the at back? the end of the night when they drain <laughs> all the ice out of those things. Yeah. You realize how much liquor gets left behind, so the bouncers get oh, like yeah. six mm, extra cases yeah. of beer from like you know, and they la they line it all up on the stage at the end of the night, and then everybody that works there decides who's taking what. <laughs> bars <laughs> close. Bars close at two a.m. in Iowa, so strip clubs close at four a.m. So when the bars would close, uh, we'd go to a gas station. Grab buy a bunch of beer over. and then go to the strip club just to drink more. Not to, and there also happened to be naked women there, which was a, which was a, an advantage as so, well. So, uh, are you single? Yes, I am. It's completely single, not single as single right as it gets. Let, uh, Lisa. let me give you a couple stats on Trent. <laughs> First of all, he is uh, part of the Four Play podcast, which is pretty much at this point the number one golf podcast in the world. Yep. Oh, you're my friend then, because I'm starting to take lessons. There you go. And How's it going I so far? Start playing DFS uh, golf. You know, so I, I watch right. like crazy. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we got the number one uh, golf podcast in the world. Boobs is different. Yeah, that's got to be. Yeah, I don't know how that is. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it differently yeah. for your club. Yeah, actually, I know how it goes. It's pretty. Wow. Fun. <laughs> so this is also Trent. Uh, this is four. Like we could, it's called foreplay. I am get it? Do you get it? This. Get it? It's a of double entendre. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Yeah. He wears the khakis and black shirt. This is exclusively every day. Wear it every day. This is the Trent uniform. I love it though. He doesn't have to worry about anything else in his wardrobe. And you know what? It's like very like I know it's his uniform. I know it's his thing. He's like he's like uh, like owns that now. I never have to think about it, so I just get up every morning. I put this on. The only problem is I've been uh, losing weight and gaining weight pretty much, you know, a lot over the last six months. So the sizes are a little off. So I feel like I don't know. That's my only problem with the uniform. But other than that, it goes really. And also well. speaking of size, he was the biggest baby ever born in Iowa history. Oh no! How many way. pounds? How many ounces? How many pounds do you think? Thirteen point two. That was really close. Really fucking close. Fourteen. <laughs> what? Yeah, fourteen Your pounds. Your mother. Yup. Was She's it natural? No, God no. <laughs> like, wow, God your no. mother. Absolutely not. I think I think Trent's mother's like, wow, Lisa Ann. Did she have <laughs> did she have any kids after you? I'm the youngest, so yeah, she had three no, no, none after me. Okay. But you yeah, that's a, <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> like not even a little bit. I came in here and was super confident, just like uh, that's how I you lead. Were, I, I thought you were cruising until then. That's how I lead my By life. By the way, I'm gonna favorite Wake foreplay up confident. and start watching and stalking you on social media, and I will comment on what I listen to. You actually follow me on Twitter. Okay, um, I, I, I don't. I don't follow you. No, sorry. Yep. Okay. Why don't you follow me? You know, I thought it was a cool move to not follow you. You followed me. I was like. <laughs> I don't know. Move. I don't know if that's big dick energy, bro. <laughs> okay. So, like, I don't put a lot of porn and stuff up on there, so it's nothing offensive. But no, like, I don't care. I, you know, that, that's what it would be. It would when be I, offensive. When I, be like, <laughs> Trent's like, I can't see this. When so, I start yeah, tweeting at him and then my guy pictures. fans realize, you know, you're tweeting at him, he doesn't even follow you. And I'm like, you know, I asked him in person. Yeah. He said he just was playing it cool. Yeah, I'm playing I it cool. I can't DM you, am. you know. If you're not, if I, you're not I'm just, following I was me. waiting for this moment when I came uh -huh. in and could tell you uh -huh. that I don't follow you on Twitter. <laughs> okay. How did it work? That's right. big dick energy right Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. yes. Number two is, is that, yes. Two, that's a little big that dick was, energy. That was a, that was, a that tense was moment. Well I didn't know go one way or the other. I don't know which way it was going to go. <laughs> you fired me up. All right. You're out of here. We got to All right. Sweet. Awesome. We're halfway through. We got two more <laughs> for you. Now, these next two are. I love that you guys arranged this. Thank you. I'm so flattered. These are also the guys in the office that I. To be honest, all of them have enough big dick energy, dick energy because this is actually a, a very insecure office. And so I picked the guys who I knew could handle it. <laughs> Glenny Balls. <laughs> you, no, you're going to go right here. You're actually going to pop on the and mic. Glenny, you were on the podcast with Asa, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep, yes. Yep. Asa loves Glenny. That's how I Glenny, know you. Uh, let me tell you something about him. He usually does Hawaiian shirt Fridays. He heard you were coming in today. Threw it on Thursday. We're doing Hawaiian shirt Thursdays. So what do you do tomorrow? 
No I'm show. I'll just double. I got a, I got a Hawaiian. I got a lot, so I can wear it. The, I will admit the fedora is the new look. I well, think he's de- dressing up for you. Uh, <laughs> no, the fedora was on my desk as I've gotten here. I've just sat it here, and I just wanted to get my phone when Brendan texted me to come here, and I was like, oh, that fedora was just this, sitting there. This Maybe is the moment. Why this not was, throw it on? This was the fedora moment, yeah. and the fedora could also lead to other things. So, questions you have? I have a question for you. Girlfriends or are you single? What do you think? I'm single. I just got my first Bumble match in like 10 years earlier. <laughs> my God, guy. I was just going to ask you if you're on any dating apps. <laughs> <There> <laughs> no, go. I just love to. Me and my friends love to go on Bumble. It's just so much fun. You just swipe and then like nothing comes of it. But <laughs> you can always use just a photo the of, of the someone like myself and really have some fun with it. I tell my friends, well, I mean, I thought, it's fun. I thought I had the ultimate Bumble cheat code when I went on Andy Cohen. I was a bartender mm. at Andy Cohen one time. Watch what happens so live. I that on my, as my Bumble picture. And I'm Smart like, man. I think I would, that like first month, the matches were floated at a high rate. But then after that, it died down. Oh, we we, we just got to get your you picture game. We got to up your picture game. That's all. I mean, what better picture can you ask for than Bart? Yeah, but, 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 but then again, then it gets stale. You got to right. rotate them. And also, Do you it always talk like that. I could be confusing. Yeah. It could be sexually confusing. I'm just saying. I also threw one on recently, two weeks ago. I have a picture from when I was out in Montreal like last year, mm-hmm. and I had my um, Hawaiian shirt on buttons at a club. Yeah, buddy. And I threw that on there because I feel like I hired it. So I threw that on there. Hasn't increased the matches either. It could what, come what would off you a little think, creepy. What, that could what, come what, off a little do you think creepy. So? What type of picture in general for Glennie and in general do you think girls would be attracted to on a, on a dating app? Just a normal picture. I like or it something. when a guy takes a picture next to a car that you know is not his. Like he sees a Maserati <laughs> in a parking lot. He's like, oh, this could be my new Abby. This is great. I'm like, yeah, dude, that's not your are, car. Are you on social media apps? On dating apps? Yeah. No, I was but once say, in a while. Like, you're like, you're like I, I like when he's in the picture. Here's what, what do we what? do do. Once in a while, my friends and I, I love to go to Tahoe. So that's like my vacation place. And we'll get an Airbnb and, you know, smoke some weed, if I'm allowed to say that here right now. Sure. Have Literally a couple whatever cocktails. You want. <laughs> and then I'm like, let's set up a profile. Mm-hmm. Let's just fuck with people. So we, and, it, and it flies. Like, oh, I'm you sure know, it it's does. an instant feed. It's like I a beef. Sure and, and then we just start and then I delete it. Yeah. It's just fun to see what people say. Oh, there's so many guys who are like, it's happening, dude, and then just got. And they also it makes Bumble money because after they uh, sit, spend so many messages, then they yeah. have to pay for something. Yeah, else. No, I used to do that with Asa. I would make Asa fake accounts and just <laughs> sit so on there for hours. Yeah. It's a wild scene. My friends also take my phone and they'll be like, "Let me just read your Twitter DMs for a while." Yeah, and that's kind of them. You should have a show just called like Lisa Ann's DMs and I've just read them out loud. It. Like it's that's gotta be the most entertaining thing in the world. I, I've considered good, this. bad, ugly, really whatever. Okay, so um, sexual partners. Uh, have you ever been with more than one woman at a time? Of course not. I would love to. <laughs> I mean, that's on my bucket list. But if you had the He's big, like, I'm up for it. I mean, I mean if you had the big dick energy, it. right? If he had the big dick energy and he was with a girl who saw it and she wanted to show it off to a friend, I feel by then you would have been with two women at one time. That's true. That's true. I mean, word of mouth. But how much is word of mouth spread in New York City? There's a lot of millions of people here. I would want to show it it's off. It's not like we live in like a town with 2,000 people. You know what I'm saying? We live in a city. Listen, you're working for a big company right now. You are literally bowling. This is the peak for you. If I were you, I'd jump on the possibility. Meet a girl. Whip it out. See, does she have a friend that would like to share it with you? <laughs> Actually, next time you have a girl, say, unless you bring your friend, take a fucking oh hike. Yeah. I would, Two or I would none. be like Lil Wayne. I want my chicks in twos. Two. Okay? I'm going to have to just cut this video and keep it on my phone in case somebody asks me. And then just there have you that go. To show at the bars. Okay. So around. I'm a little concerned. We don't have as yeah, much. You uh, but, you know, we're going to the next one. We'll get back to okay. you. Okay. But okay. I thank you for wearing Please the fedora for me. Thank I'm going to do so photos much. with all of you after this. Yeah, and your bumble could be popping, but don't worry. Your, put that on your profile. Final contestant here. I'll even put a quote that says, seen it, been there, done that. Loved it. Final contestant was very excited when he heard you were coming in. Oh. He actually like fist pumped, like threw Here his hands to the go. sky. Mm-hmm. My man Zaha. <laughs> Look at the strut. <laughs> Look at the strut. Let's go, Zaha. Yeah, 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 yeah. 